Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. Today we are looking at the Numeracy Blocks mod, which adds blocks that have numbers and colors, and they dynamically change. And it's actually quite impressive, I must say. So in front of us here, uh, we have you know just a just a real simple overview of of what we got. But first, uh, the mod adds a single block called the Numeracy Block. There is no recipe for it. So if you if you want some, you gotta grab them via creative or using the give me command. And as we can see here, if you place a single block, it'll be this lovely red color, and it'll have the number one. And then if you place a second one, you know, it becomes two, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so on and so forth. As we continue placing them, blah blah blah. There we go. See, so we have sixteen. So um, here's what uh, here's what my big brain has figured out. In single digit numbers, um, with the exception of seven and nine, we have solid colored blocks, and they have these inside corner or outside corners, but they're inset. Whatever. Um, and once you get two double digits, the blocks that make up the double digit have um, the opposite pretty much. So instead of the corner being cut in, the corners stick out. Uh, honestly, it kind of looks like shipping containers. Like, not gonna lie, 20 here is kind of, well, other than this kind of funkiness that's going on down there, kind of looks like a shipping container. And uh, so yeah, the corners change. Um, I'm not sure why the front faces on this are white. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be that white. But uh, yeah, and then 20, uh, you get those opposite corners, but it's the orange color, 30 is yellow, as is three. So I bet if I placed 40 of these out, we would get something that was green. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that the easy way. So I'm going to, no, I want it to go this way. I'm going to join 10 and 30. Nope, there we go. So 46. So yes, indeed, we can see that the 40 are uh, the greenish color with the opposite edging on them. And then the six other nodes that are making up, you know, the, the six part of the 46 are purple as sixes. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. So now if we put another one out. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what 70 will do. So I think if we add those two, we have 68. That gets us pretty close. If I do this, that's going to go. OK, so it just puts them all into this kind of rainbowed pattern. And I'm not really sure how this is deciding what colors go where. Because it, it kind of feels like it's just stacking them up like vertically, you know? Except that this one and this one are different colors. But then these are different colors, so I don't know how that coloring system's working, but you know what, that's all right. We'll go to 80 and they all turn into uh, this kind of pinkish color here. And this will give us 89, I wanna see what happens. 90, and we get a lovely gray gradient. Now, I was reading that this is only supported up to 99. So I kind of want to see what happens if you put extras out. Oh wait, no. What? I it, 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 it. maybe the form topic just hasn't been updated. Cause uh, the author said he wanted to make support for groups greater than 99. Well, here we clearly have a group greater than 99. So at 100, we get this kind of checkerboard pattern. And then because it's 112, we have 10 that are the the pattern that 10 gets, which um, I don't have a group of 10 anymore, but we can break off some of these to make a set of 10. There we go. So then we have the 10 and then two makes those two. It's quite educational, I must say. I might have to tell YouTube that this video is created for kids because uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a very kid geared mod. That's goofy, why did that not work? 
but that worked. There we go. Now they both say four. So we can we can do maths. We can add them together. I, I don't know why this isn't. There we go. So we can say seven plus seven is 15, but seven plus seven is not 15 because we put another one in. So that's what makes it 15. So then we'd have to break one and it makes it kind of confusing. Uh, one of the things mentioned on the form topic is possibly putting in um, mathematical operations. So like you could actually do it to do a plus sign. But uh, here's, a, here's a legitimate use case. Not that any of the thing that I have done so far has not been legitimate. But say you wanted to know the distance from, well, we'll just go from here. Oh, I'm, I'm not going fast enough. All right, so there's a little bit of cleanup I got to do. There we go. So it's 17 nodes from that end to this end. Why did we want to know that? I don't know, but we did, and now we know it. Uh, we could also go this way. Oh, well, except I placed an extra one. So, um, oh great, and now I place them under the water. That's that's not good. All right, well, let me go back and break those out and get rid of that one there. Oh yeah, because the number always displays on the highest block, by the way. Oh, it's almost perfect. There we go, it's 49. Oh, I just noticed this. So I bet every 10, the corners are placing a little different. So these just go straight through and that you can tell there's kind of a junction there. And then we get to the nine portion and it goes this way. But yeah, so we can go back over here. I should have really enabled fast move so we got 112 up top there. Well, so let's go and add some down here. Now that should be pulling them away from the top. So let's try to go someplace. There we go. So you can see that it's putting our numbers on the bottom. But now I am intrigued to see what's going to happen when I do this. All right. There we go. So this node became the highest node in the group. So it got the number on it just as a, a quick final test. You may want to avert your gaze if you suffer from epileptic. Oh, I got stuck inside of it because there could be a lot of flashing lights here. Well, I don't know if I can break it or not, but got up to 320 and it didn't break. So I think I'm gonna give up trying to break it because <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's pretty high. Now I think we should be able to do this though. So we're in the hundreds, so we're getting that checkerboard pattern. We have 300, so it's the yellow color, which yellow is three. But if I break this, there we go, 246. Oh, so 200 is still the yellow color. Wait. Oh, no, 200 is the orange color. And then this is 40, so that's the greenish color. And then six, six is the purple there. So actually, if we put one more in, 247, now we get the rainbow color going on here. Yeah, yeah. All right. That is that is quite well. Quite well done. Done quite nicely. I don't think quite well done is proper English. But who's keeping track? I may die. Oh, I didn't. Excellent. So there you go. The numeracy blocks mod. Would you want to actually use these to build a house? I mean, you totally could. Uh, you wouldn't really get color picture. Uh, wow. You really wouldn't get the choice of colors unless you happened to build it just so, so that the number of blocks ended up being the correct amount to give you the color you want. But yeah, you, you could build a house out of them if you really wanted to. I mean, you can do you can do what you please. Now the only um, if you look at it backwards, the numbers are backwards. However, I think as soon as I place or break something facing this, yeah. So the number is placed based off of K or not. If 
thought it was based off of the look direction. Only running on this one axis though? That's weird because I could have sworn. Yeah, it goes that way. It goes that way. Oh yeah, we can do this. Wow, it's so cool. Wow, it's so cool. But then I can break it by doing that, and now it now it's broke. There we go. Now it's fixed. That's gonna, that's gonna wrap it up. There's really not much more to say. The numeracy blocks mod links are all on my website, which is linked down in the video description. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.